automation has the potential to change agriculture and the way that we produce food. Robotics will be one of the key enablers to get other advanced technologies into the field. You think of the evolution of agriculture. We started with an ox, we put tools on an ox, we then moved on to a tractor, we put tools onto a tractor. We're now moving on to a robot and we'll put tools onto a robot. So this is Thorvald, it's an uh, agricultural robot. The robot itself is basically just a, a platform. Uh, it will be equipped with several different types of sensors, like uh, cameras and laser scanners, infrared cameras and, and so on, for autonomous navigation. And then we have this open area in, in the middle of the robot where we can equip it with uh, different kinds of, of tools can change the width of the, the robot and the overall size so that you can operate in, in a wide variety of environments. It is made to operate autonomously uh, in the field, polytunnels, greenhouses. It's a four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, so it's extremely maneuverable, very low center of gravity, so you can move in extremely hilly terrains. I think the potential is just huge. We can have the, the robots operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that gives them more time to do uh, their operations more precisely and with higher accuracy than, than what we do today. The first task that uh, robots will undertake it is the monitoring. Very time-consuming task for a farmer to do that, and we have all the technology to do that right now. There are a number of impacts really, so it's time, cost efficiency, but it's also environmental impact. We can treat each plant at an individual level, so an optimise the growing conditions for each and every plant. The first applications will be to solve problems that can't be solved using conventional equipment today. So we are working on some topics such as UVB treatment of mildew and grey mould. Those are problems that can't be solved using conventional equipment, uh, but where we can apply robots. It's always great to be involved in something where you think it's going to be the future. Forvald is a real lead because it is a great platform. It's got this multi-purpose ability. So as we go and develop some of these technologies for Forvald, so a guidance system, a mapping system, a camera system, we might then see a number of those spin-outs going into more conventional machinery, such as conventional tractors or autonomous vehicles, cars. It's very exciting because we think there's a great potential, but we don't know what the future's going to look like. We'll only know by doing it.